Problem. The fourth dimension. I mean, first of all, what is it anyway? Like, who are we as mere third dimension mortals to question the very fabric that may potentially hold together our reality? I mean, I'm sure we've all had that famous question. Not that if a higher spatial dimension exists, no. But if it's possible, there may be a fourth dimensional being right in front of our eyes, teabagging us in our face, and we have zero f***ing clue about it. And you know what? That scares me. So what evidence is there for or against a fourth dimension? Well, unsurprisingly, like most things in science, it is a contested matter. As far as pure mathematics is concerned, a fourth dimension is very, very possible. And I'm not talking about some cop out, well, time is a fourth dimension. No, like an actual fourth direction you could move in. In fact, not only is a fourth dimension possible, as far as we're concerned, any number of dimensions is possible. You might be wondering how that's possible. And the simple answer, my dear friend, is that big math says so. But seriously, it's technically impossible for us to visualize these higher dimensions. It's sort of as if looking at a 2D character like Mario and telling him, hey buddy, there's a whole dimension this way, and no matter how hard you or he tries, he'll never see it. A simple example is the shadow of a 3D object over a 2D plane. Imagine, if you will, that we have Link from the hit game Legend of Zelda Link to the Past on a 2D piece of paper with a light source directly above it. Now I can take any 3D object and put it in front of this light source and and obviously it's gonna cast a shadow, right? But as I rotate the object, it's gonna seem as if the shadow is just changing form. I mean, if you were looking just at the shadow, it would appear as if some 2D object is changing form mysteriously right in front of your eyes. And from Link's perspective, that's exactly what it looks like. Now riddle me this, have we ever seen a 3D object mysteriously changing form in front of our own eyes? Well, no. Unless maybe you've taken a lot of psychedelics, but it's a pretty convincing argument for why a fourth dimension might not exist. It also explains tesseracts, you know, the funny gif of the moving cube. That's how a 4D cube looks when it's rotating for us 3D people. But that isn't exactly a foolproof argument. The absence of evidence doesn't necessarily form the absence of an argument. It's kind of like if you were told by someone that they haven't seen anything funny on Instagram Reels, that doesn't mean Instagram Reels isn't funny. It just means they haven't seen an example of it yet. Now, arguments for a fourth dimension largely stem from this branch of nerds who care about something called string theory. And I'm gonna be honest, I'm not really into physics like that, so I had ChatGPT generate me a little summary. Now, according to Mr. GPT here, our universe is in a small 3D chunk of a much higher dimension, and we can't see these higher dimensions because they're at a very, very small scale that we wouldn't even be able to see anyways. This theory tries to justify stuff like dark matter, which I'm pretty sure is one of the most studied and researched things ever, and coincidentally has not found any direct examples for. In my opinion, it just kind of seems like a cheap way to justify things we don't understand yet. Funny how when I lose all my money gambling, that's statistics, but oh yeah, yeah this, this, this stuff we made up, yeah, that's groundbreaking science. But ultimately, who knows? Maybe string theory is right after all. Hold on. Strings? Teabags have strings. Oh my God, the fourth dimensional teabaggers, they, they, they must be real. It all makes sense. I must publish my findings immediately. Mm.